Hello and welcome to Mystic Mia Tarot. This is a reading for the Aries Collective. It is a timeless reading. Whenever you come to it is the perfect time for you to hear the messages revealed. I do have the four elements represented in the frame. I do have crystals for earth, flowers for air, water in the vase for water, and a candle burning for fire. The artwork in the frame is original. If interested, see info in the description box. I pre-shuffled several different decks and laid out a Celtic cross. And we're gonna start off with a card to represent the person currently on your mind, their possible astro sign, and a card to set the tone for the reading as well. So it will serve both purposes. Before I get to that, I wanna thank you for being here. Your likes, comments, subscribes, and shares are greatly appreciated. I really enjoy doing this, and I especially love Aries. So let's get into it. Aries, you may be dealing with someone who is a Cancer, because I did pull the chariot. Uh, it could be their sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. This is the Botticelli tarot deck. I am showing the card. But please note that this reading is meant to be listened to as opposed to watched. And so there could be um, something happening very quickly in regards to your person. Uh, perhaps they are coming towards you quickly or you are going towards them. And um, this energy it can also sometimes indicate something coming out of control. I think of this card as someone skiing down the mountain and they're going so fast that they lose control. And so, you know, that could be the feeling here with your person. Maybe you, you are, you know, rushing forward with them and it feels a little out of control, but isn't that what falling lo in love is? is kind of feeling out of control, falling in love. So um, it's not a bad thing to let go of the reins, so to speak. There are no reins in the chariot card. In this card, both horses are white, but sometimes they're depicted as a black and a white horse, which can indicate two con um, contrary directions and um, one horse wants to go one way the other wants to go another way so you could have some indecision about the person on your mind or they may have some indecision about you like you're not so sure about this person do you want to go for this or not so that is the tone of the reading the next card we're gonna pull is one to represent you, Aries. And I did pull a card from my artist oracle deck. And the card I pulled is Georgia O'Keeffe. I'm showing the card right now. She's one of my favorite artists, famous watercolor painter. Um, she is especially good at depicting scenes from the Southwest, including skeletons of animals, um, flowers, shells. She did a whole series of flower paintings that a lot of people said resembled the female genitalia. And uh, just a master painter. I believe she um, was gay. And so uh, perhaps the West is calling to you right now, Aries, or just um, being outside in nature. And um, perhaps you are exploring your own sexuality. Um, it could be that you are bi-curious, I believe the term is, um, and just kind of you know, not limiting yourself in any way. A lot of Georgia O'Keeffe's paintings just seem limitless. So maybe you're feeling limitless right now. And 
fully empowered within yourself. So the card itself says nature can't, can keep a secret. Keep Freud guessing. You can't run away from yourself, but running away from others can be quite productive. So perhaps I should have read up a little bit more on her because I'm not quite sure how that relates to her. But um, anyway, that's you, Aries. The letters G or O may be significant. All right, let's get into the Celtic cross. In your first position, you have the page of wands. And so I feel like this could represent you. It is a fire card, wands are fire. And it's similar to the ace of wands because there's like a single staff in the, in the image. Sometimes people say the staff in the ace of wands is significant and represents the male phallus and sexuality and excitement and being turned on. And that the page of wands is sort of imitating that energy in some way. Uh, the page of wands takes it sort of a step further and is ready to embark upon an adventure with enthusiasm. And so perhaps that's the energy you're in right now, like that limitless energy that we talked about with uh, Georgia O'Keeffe. Feeling limitless, ready to travel, ready to explore. And perhaps you're ready to do that with your person, with that, um, with that chariot energy rushing forth. The Page of Wands is like the fool of the minor arcana, ready to take that leap of faith. However, you're crossed by the four of pentacles, which is a stubborn energy. So maybe there's a part of you that's putting the brakes on. Um, earlier, we talked about how sometimes the chariot can indicate being of two different minds. And maybe that's why this stubborn energy is coming up. Like there's a part of you that is stubborn about, you know, you're holding yourself back in some way. You're not allowing yourself to just fully plunge into the abyss if you are the fool. Um, you're kind of putting the brakes on, so to speak. Um, this card can also represent just maintaining your own stability. And um, there's only four pentacles, but this person is holding on tight to all four and you don't want to lose them. You are crowned by the lover's card in reverse. So this can indicate a breakup um, or a separation uh, or not making a choice. The lovers can indicate, um, you know, relationship and uh, mutual attraction when upright, but when in reverse, it can represent a fallout. Be right back. Lovely, beautiful. I have the lovely scent of chocolate chip cookies wafting through the room um, and they just finished. And my son is sitting here with me creating a Ninjago Lego set, which is pretty exciting, right? Yeah. Anyway, you may be in a state of separation with your person right now. Um, and perhaps you are wanting to come back together again. And um, the lovers can indicate a, a very strong attraction, a twin flame type energy. Um, sometimes there's runner and chaser in the twin flame dynamic. And I feel like those kinds of relationships are super intense. Um, but they can burn out quickly. 
they certainly can feel out of control, which, you know, we talked about earlier. In the distant past, you have the page of pentacles, another page. Uh, perhaps your person is younger than you are, or there's children involved. Um, the page of pentacles is the student of the tarot, the student of life. Uh, so perhaps you entered into this connection willing to learn and um, just uh, willing to be vulnerable in some way and offer up, you know, your, your opportunity to the person that you're seeing. Um, in the recent past, you do have the devil. So there may be an element of toxicity in this connection. And maybe that's why you've been of two minds about it. Maybe that's why you've put on the brakes. Um, like we talked about earlier, there could be obsession. You could be obsessed with them. They could be obsessed with you. Um, or you could mutually be obsessing about one another. Um, uh, but in any, in any case, the devil does indicate some sort of bondage. It's sort of like the lovers and the devil are very similar cards. I'm going to show you. So in the lover's card, the, the man and the woman are um, standing there of their own free will. They're not chained as they are in the devil card. And there's an angel above them as opposed to a devil in the devil card. So they're very, they kind of mirror one another. Um, but this is, you know, when a, a connection goes awry, um, what may end up happening is a toxic relationship like the devil card shows. In the future, you have the three of cups which can indicate a reunion. So like we said before, if there has been a separation or a breakup, um, you're gonna be coming back together. Perhaps you're coming back together in a social setting, um, raising a glass together. There could be friends around. Um, on the dark side of this, it can indicate a third party situation. Um, and so that might be part of your hesitation with this relationship. Yeah, Perhaps yeah. you have a, a very nice. Perhaps you have someone else in your life or they do. Some other signs on the table are Capricorn, Gemini, Capricorn, and Cancer. That's two Capricorn and two Cancer. The next card we have is the Four of Wands, and that is actually an Aries card. So in your environment, there is a coming together in celebration, which is sort of like a continuation of, or even a repetition of the last card. Um, sometimes the Four of Wands can indicate marriage, uh, commitment, and um, sometimes it can indicate home. So you're, you know, you're in your environment, you're feeling stable and um, you're celebrating your stability. How you're being seen by your person is the two of swords. So they see you being undecided about them. They see you uh, having a trouble making a choice. You could be stuck in a stalemate right now. Um, and you may feel, they may feel like you're blocking them in some way. In your hopes or fear position, you have the high priestess. So you're hoping that your intuition will guide you here, Aries. And you're fearing that you won't be able to distinguish it from all the other noise that's going on in our minds. Um, the high priestess is a card of mystery and secrets. So uh, maybe you're you're hoping that your person's not keeping any secrets from you 
and that any mystery that that is um, tied up with them may be solved. In your outcome, you have the Nine of Pentacles, which is interesting because the Nine of Pentacles is a card of the happily single person. Um, so maybe, um, you know, you'll come back together with this person and decide that uh, we're maybe better off as friends because the Three of Cups, which we had in your future position, can sometimes indicate friendship. But the Nine of Pentacles can also re represent wish fulfillment, comfort, happiness. Um, this person has all their pentacles around them and um, their little pet bird perched on their hand. But um, we'll get a little more clarity about this outcome with my Zodiac Tarot. Other signs on the table are Libra and Virgo. We'll get the energy of the person on your mind towards you right now, your energy towards them, and then the outcome of this energetic cycle, which we'll say ends at the next full moon. Today was this very um, good energy day, just easy, flow. Uh, yesterday, not so much. Yesterday was Valentine's Day. And um, I just feel like a little conflicted about Valentine's Day because like, if you aren't in a relationship, it can be a day of feeling that absence. Um, whereas if you are in a relationship, you know, you can celebrate love, but really love could be celebrated every single day, I think. I do love it though. I, I did give my children little gifts and that was really, really fulfilling. All right, so the energy of their person towards you and your energy towards them and then the outcome. So uh, in their energy, they have the Eight of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, and the Six of Cups reversed. So they may feel that, um, you know, in a sense of suspension, like, like we talked about earlier, perhaps you're on a break, um, and they may be feeling like it's stuck in limbo in regards to you. They may feel that, like they're willing to work on this with the Eight of Pentacles because you are a soulmate, but it's like, you know, it is reversed. Um, so perhaps they feel like, even though we're the, they feel a soulmate connection, um, you're not accepting their cup. I'm gonna show the card. This card shows two children um, kind of one one child sharing with the other and uh, this card can also indicate nostalgia so they may be feeling like thinking warmly about their time with you and um in your energy toward them you have the five of pentacles reversed the seven of swords reversed and the ten of cups
I'm sorry. I'm going to have to come back. Um, I will continue this reading in part two.